Good morning, travelers, pre-med students, and undergraduates. Welcome to Doctor's Inn. This is where medical experiences are shared, study strategies are examined, and life lessons with a sprinkle of advice and habits are served. And also, just to go back, you mentioned something right now, and you talked about how in high school you came across this complexity of a case with glioblastoma. So... My question is, can the complexity of certain cases be overwhelming when you're performing on or operating? Or is there kind of like a reward system that is there in place for the challenge? It's a great question. It's one of the challenges we often are faced with in neurosurgery, because even though we strive for perfection every time, we know that not every patient is going to have a good outcome. Glioblastoma is a great example of this. We know that even if we have a gross hole resection, meaning that we resect 100%, of the tumor that we see on an MRI, there are still tumor cells left in the brain. That's just the nature of glioblastoma. It's an infiltrative disease. We're never going to remove 100% of the cells, which is why eventually glioblastoma is going to be, I, I truly believe it's going to be a non-surgical disease. It's going to be a disease cured by immunotherapy, by different types of drugs and uh, um, from the clinical trials we're currently pursuing. And that's just by, by the nature of the disease again. So it, it can be challenging. We know that even, for example, with glioblastoma, that even if we do a perfect job, we're not going to cure the patient. And that can be really challenging as surgeons, because again, going back to our mindset that we're very concrete, sequential people, and we go for a specific reason, it's a little disheartening looking back, thinking that regardless of how good of a surgery I do, I'm not going to cure this patient. And as surgeons, that's a very unnatural and very sobering feeling for us. Because that's why we do surgery, right? We do surgery to cure people and to fix people in general. So it's it's really tough as neurosurgeons having to deal with that sometimes. But I would say it's not the majority of cases. In most cases, whether it's someone with lumbar disc disease or cervical myelopathy, brain trauma, different types of traumatic brain injury, we can often fix the problem. And so it's definitely not the majority of cases, but I think that's one of the challenges that we deal with as surgeons that I think is unique to neurosurgery. For example, in orthopedics, if someone breaks a bone, you fix the bone, you reduce the fracture, and that's it, right? And that's a perfect surgery. But we're often faced with bigger challenges than that. Right. Does that kind of contribute to potential burnout for surgeons or especially neurosurgeons? And how would you mitigate those feelings? Definitely. It's, it's really challenging. I don't know. I wouldn't say that necessarily precipitates burnout in that we know going into a certain surgery and based on what type of tumor we believe it is, really what the expected outcome is. So I think as long as it meets expectations, that doesn't necessarily lead to burnout. I think what leads to burnout more is a lack of gratification, just in general, that if you're working long hours, you don't feel either appreciated or you feel that the work you're doing isn't going to where where you want it to be or you're being deprived of your hobbies or your your necessities like food, sleep, et cetera. You know, again, we we know what we signed up for. We know that if we're going to operate on a patient with glioblastoma, we know the expected trajectory. We know the life expectancy, et cetera. So I don't think necessarily as much of a disease state thing to burn out as much as kind of environmental factors, but it definitely contributes, right? Having patients with bad outcomes, I definitely go home at the end of the day and I'm not feeling as up as I would if, you know, I treat treat someone with you know, more of a, dis a benign disease process and I really make a difference. It, it can weigh on you, for sure. <laughs>